previously on Left Behind. You give a couple of weeks notice here and move with me to New Babylon. Two weeks? Chloe, I want you to be my wife. Buck and Chloe, Rayford and Amanda, I pronounce you husband and wife. The militia forces are ready to act. What exactly does that mean? It means stay out of the major East Coast cities. The uprising will be crushed and initiate a, a cataclysmic war. I, I need to find one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hello, oh, we need some help back here. Uh, this gentleman has just passed out. Based on Tribulation Force, the second book in the best-selling series, Tendale House Publishers proudly presents episode 24 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. Problem, Cap. Ray, something's up. What's wrong? I was mingling, uh, making small talk with Hattie, and something broke. Oh, news bulletin? What? The mood of the whole cabin changed. A guy started bringing Carpathia faxes, and then they went off into that um, corner room, and there was shouting. Um, might be something. Might be nothing. Don't doubt my intuition, Ray. Something's happening. Something big. Bruce, this is Chloe. We're at the Drake downtown, and if you get a chance, call us. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I hope everything's okay. Bye. Hmm. Still no answer? Oh, it's weird. I sent an email yesterday and called a couple of times today. It's not like him. Well, maybe he's not back yet. No. His last message said he was heading to the States. And that was almost a week ago. And then nothing. He's probably still getting over the jet lag. Oh. India's not the easiest trip in the world, you know. Anything from your dad? Oh, yeah. They loved your idea about the Cape Cod room. <laughs> Good. We'll meet here for lunch and then head to Mount Prospect together. You know, I bet Bruce shows up for lunch tomorrow. Just to surprise us. Well, I hope you're right. This is Captain Steele. We're about five minutes from Dulles. Please secure yourself and your belongings for landing. Weather's a little nippy in Washington. Temperature is 42 and slightly overcast. As I said, Global Community One will be on the ground in a little less than five minutes. This is the captain. Captain Steele, the boat team would like a word with you. Right now? We're on final approach. Just a moment. All right, in the cockpit with you alone, after engine shutdown. Procedure is a post-flight checklist with first officer. Just a minute. What's up? I don't know. Carpathia's got to be in his bonnet. What's a powwow immediately after touch? This is priority, Captain. Run the first officer out of there after shutdown and do the post flight after you meet with the potentate. If that's the way he wants it. Captain. That, that's a Roger. Hello? Hey, if you recognize my voice and will talk to me, call me at the number I gave you a while ago. And, and make sure you use a payphone. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll call you back in five minutes. I, uh, I gotta run out for a minute. Why? Who was that? Gerald Fitzhugh. The president knew we were coming to Chicago? Well, I guess he tracked me down through the office. I'll be right back. All right, gentlemen, let's go over this one more time. At 1,800 hours, we're airborne. We fly low across the channel, climb with Vernus to 45,000 feet here, and we don't come down until we're into Iraqi airspace. At this point here, we drop the nukes and kiss the global community goodbye. Sir, is Carpathia an operations objective? Negative. Intel shows him on the eastern U.S. seaboard. Our hit on New Babylon is synchronized with the North American initiative. Carpathia is not our concern. The militia will take care of him. We strike the headquarters. Any more questions? Good. Now at some point, they're going to pick us up. We all know that. We get one shot. Let's make it a good one. 
And forgive me for the intrusion. Not a problem, sir. Uh, Captain, I feel the need to take you into my confidence. Our intelligence has discovered an insurrection plot. We are being forced to circulate false itineraries. I see. We suspect militia involvement and even collusion with at least two other countries. To be safe, we are scrambling radio communications and telling the press conflicting stories of my destination. Sounds like a plan. People have been led to believe I will be in Washington for at least four days, but we have added Chicago, New York, and Boston to the itinerary. Mm, Do I hear my little vacation slipping away? No. On the contrary. You will be free to go to Chicago, but I want you available on a moment's notice. I'll be ready. Ah, One other thing. I would like you to fly Global Community One to Chicago and have someone you trust return it to New York the same day. Mm. For security purposes. Exactly. Mm. I think I know just the pilot. Uh, Yes, sir, it's me. I'm glad you took my advice and got out of New York. Can you tell me more? Just that it's good you're not at home. Gotcha. When should I return? That could be problematic, but you'll know one way or another. Now, we need you on our team, Williams. How long you away? Four days. Perfect. Halliday. Earl? Ray Steele. Rayford, you old dog. <laughs> How's it feel to be the envy of every pilot in the country? Uh, well, look, I've got a proposition I think you'll like. Yeah? What's that? Look, I can't talk about it here. You in tomorrow morning? I can be. Good. Meet me at O'Hare at 10. You got it, partner. New Hope Village Church. Hello. Buck Williams calling for Pastor Barnes? Oh, Buck. I'm sorry, but, well, Pastor's not feeling well. Oh. Uh, what's wrong? The flu? Actually, no. We're a little worried about him. Was there an accident? Is it Bruce? Yeah. They think he picked up some kind of virus in India. It hit him on the way back. He went to the emergency room. He was sure it was something they they could... But he slipped into a coma. A coma? Oh, no. Like I say, we're a little worried about him. Which hospital? Northwest Community. Between Rolling Meadows and Arlington Heights. Thanks. Thanks. We'll find it. Got the word yesterday. You're the only one I called. Well, Ray, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like carting around the potentate himself or, or even the president, but, but I can pretend. Uh, I figured you might enjoy the opportunity. You betcha. <laughs> but why? What's going on? Oh, just security move. They're expecting you at Kennedy. No, hang on, Pager. Oh, no, Ray, we haven't even seen Buck and Chloe no, yet. No, no, don't worry. It's not Carpathia. 312 area code. That's downtown. I better get this. Uh, tell you what, I'll give you a call later to see how you like flying her. Hmm? Enjoy the ride, Earl. I'll never forget you for this, Ray. Thank you. All forces are ready, five, sir. I want complete reports from each sector on the hour. The initial engagement will be England. It's our highest threat level at the moment. And the U.S. sites? We prepared on your command. Mr. Carpathia, the communication satellite for your address is ready. Please follow me, sir. General, I want to make sure we accomplish our objective in Chicago. We will, sir. Mr. Carpathia. Yes, yes, yes. I am glad my safety is such a concern to you. Sir, uh, one other thought. We believe we can take out the resistance with minimal loss of innocence. If we did a preemptive strike in Britain... There would be no need for a nuclear attack on the I city I appreciate of- your concern, General, but we must let the militia carry out their plans. It allows our attacks to appear retaliatory. You will proceed as planned. Red Dog 4, this is Red Dog 1, over. Red Dog 4, roger. Tighten the formation a bit, gentlemen. Let's make the French sit up and take notice. Roger that one. Red Dog 1, we have company. Four bogeys, two, three, back. Break formation, go. Uh, two bogeys on your face, get out of there. Uh, another four and three o'clock coming in. Red Dog 5, take evasive action. Two over me. Five, missile is hot. Right turn now. Two the Red Dog 1, don't be any Do not run. Red Dog, engage. Repeat, engage. Kennedy approach. This is Global Community 1 out of 14 for 10. Over. Kennedy approach. Global Community 1. Over. Global 1, this is Kennedy. Find an alternate, sir. We are shut down. Say again, Kennedy. I repeat, break the pattern. Do not attempt a landing. No 
world. New York ATC is on full nuclear alert. Do not attempt to land. Captain, collision radar just lit up. What the? Uh, uh, Roger, Kennedy, listen. Uh, I got a return on the proximity radar. Inbound aircraft at my 9 o'clock. Collision path. Can you confirm that? Roger, that Global One just made our screens. No transponder. Holy smokes, that thing's doing better than Mach 1. Inbounds, Captain. Inbounds. Uh, Kennedy, uh, my thread board just went red. Global One, right turn heading 180 now. If you got countermeasures on board, now's the time to use them. Countermeasures? I got them. Global One, you are under attack. Go to max throttle, max climb. Uh, roger that. R range. Missile is 10 miles. Close it fast. Sorry, I broke your flame rate. Somebody decided to use me for target practice. Get your White House t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts. Hey, sir, like to buy the lady something? No, thanks. These are top-of-the-line White House t-shirts. I got a few Jerry Fitz U's left. Collector's items while they last. What do you need, sir? Medium, large. You get one for 15, two for 25. Oh! oh I thought the airspace over the White House was restricted. Wait, if you listen real close, you'll hear Jerry Fitz U yelling at the top of his lungs. Honey, I'm up! Yeah! Ken, what do we know on Red Dog? They were airborne 20 minutes ago, sir. No word yet. How about Carpathia? We got everything but a body. Just a matter of time till it's confirmed. You took the plane out? Well, the missile fired. Detonation was confirmed. No wreckage found yet. The Coast Guard is looking. It's a shame, really. A lot of nice toys on that plane. What else? We hit the hotel hard, sir. Significant collateral damage. Now, now who's that? Captain, I need the choppers for us, would you? Right away, sir! How long will it take to get me on the air with an emergency? Mr. President, Mr. President incoming, sir. Incoming what? Uh, GC bombers just took out the White House. What? Uh, state called me on a sat phone. First wave spooked the SAM guard batteries. Second wave took them out with laser-guided bombs. Third pass totally crunched the White House, sir. That Romanian is getting on my nerves. And the last GH5 infrared pass over the English Channel shows five smoked F-16. Sir Red Dog was totally splashed. All we needed was one of them to get through. All of them? Yes, sir, it appears that way, sir. Sir, the squad of inbound cover is a global community. Sir, time to head for the bunkers. No. No bunker, Daniels. What? He'll put grunts on the ground and sniff us out. This is it, gentlemen. It's been a pleasure serving with you. We can take pride in the fact that we didn't sit on our fannies and let this overzealous Boy Scout roll us. We did something. We tried. Hold your heads high and die like men. It's so good to see you guys. Well, hop in. We can talk on the way. It's Northwest Community, Dad. Uh, that's on Algonquin, right? Right. Hurry! Did you find out anything more? What happened? I called the ICU and I talked with a nurse. He still don't know what caused it, but whatever it is, he brought it back with him from the trip. Which, of course, narrows it down. Exit at Arlington Heights Road. That'll put us close to the hospital. Oh, good. It's, it's coming up. What's with the traffic all of a sudden? making such good time. They're not going to let us get off here. Global community insignia. State troopers, local cops, too. Officer, what's the holdup? Where you been? Keep it moving. Oh, what have we missed here? Oh, man, to flip on one of the news stations. You, move! Come on! All I'm getting is this static or whatever. It's the EAS tower. Keep looking. Buck, there's a GC officer. Flash him your press pass. Yeah. Officer, excuse me, Williams, press. What's the trouble down there? Militia took over the old Nike station to store weapons. After the attack on Washington, our boys wiped them out. What, the attack on Washington? What, Washington, D.C.? Keep moving. If you need to get back this way, you can get off at Route 53 and try the back roads, but don't expect to get anywhere easy. Well, we're trying to get to Northwest... Just keep moving. Put it on scan. Good idea. Special bulletin from the Global Community Network. The fate of Global Community Potentate Nikolai Carpathia remains in question at this hour as Washington lies in ruins. Potentate Carpathia arrived here last night and was thought to be staying at the Capitol Noir. That luxury hotel was leveled about an hour ago. Global community peacekeeping forces have reportedly destroyed a suspected militia outpost near Chicago. Reports from there indicate thousands of civilian casualties. Let's go now to Connie Heimaker in Germany. Connie, what other attacks do we know about? Egyptian ground forces moving toward Baghdad were wiped out by a global community. 
Everybody's gonna take 53 North, Dad. Let's go south and double back. If I can find a place to turn around. Excuse me, please stand by. We have just heard that potentate Carpathia is alive and well. A global community liaison has just announced that the potentate is safe. We're told he will address the nation and the world in a few moments. Uh, meanwhile, in Chicago, Global Community Intelligence today uncovered a plot to destroy Global Community One, which may or may not have contained Carpathia when it flew into O'Hare International this Ray, morning. That was us. We were on that plane. Destination yeah, unknown. Let's, uh, so just hope I didn't fulfill Earl's dream by getting city. killed. Rayford, do you want me to drive? No, no. no I, 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 Ray, look, there's a turnaround up there. Uh, authorized vehicles only. Uh, well, we just became an authorized vehicle. Unable to tell you even from where I speak. For more than a year. And now, this word just in from London. A 100 megaton bomb has destroyed Heathrow Airport. Ray, should you just try to get to New Hope? No, not till we find Bruce. I wish I knew this area better. No, we're close. I'm, I'm just looking for a way to cut over to the hospital. Ray, uh, back up, huh? Yeah, the, try that parking lot. It looks like it has a back exit. All right. The warplanes, which have all been shot down, were reportedly nuclear-equipped and en route to Baghdad and New Babylon. Right now, uh, here is a spokesman for the peacekeeping forces in suburban... Dad! Excuse me, uh, we're trying to get to the hospital. They won't let you near the place. They're stopping all the cars. On foot, then? It might be possible. Uh, head that way, through the field. But I doubt they'll let you get close to what's left of it. The hospital was hit? Hit. You're a half mile from the old Nike base. That was the target, but they kind of missed, I guess. <sighs> uh, thank you. Good luck. Guys, I'm going. Me too. We're all going. No, hold on. Now, we can't all go. Yeah, don't pull Ray. It'll be hard enough for one of us to get past security. Now, Buck and I have a better chance with our global IDs. Now, on second thought, I think uh, that one of us goes and the other stays here. I agree, Ray. I want to go, but you make the call. Okay? Stay. But make sure you're ready to get out of here. If I'm not back in half an hour, you come looking for me. Dad, if Bruce is any better, try to bring him with you. Way ahead of you. Ray, be careful. I'll be back as soon as I find Bruce. I should have gone with him. Hi. Uh, did you see what happened? Yeah, I heard it. First, missiles. Real low to the ground. Then planes overhead and the noise and the smoke. I walk over there, bodies everywhere. I swear, lady, this must be the end of the world. Uh, hey, buddy. The hospital right over this hill? Yeah, did you hear all those bombs go off? Man, they hit a bunch of houses on my street. There's nothing left of them. But you're okay. Yeah, where are you going? The uh, hospital. Uh, somebody told me... Well, it's the... right over this ridge. There's this big fence down there by the road that you have to climb... Whoa. My mistake. No fence anymore. Man, we're talking direct hit. Looks that way. What's that over there? Well, that big part still standing is the parking garage. The rest of that over there is the hospital. Well, what's left of it? I wonder if anyone survived. I hope so, son. Listen, uh, thanks. Stop right there! Whoa, whoa hey. This is a restricted area. Hey, put the gun down. I have clearance. Stay right there. Hey, take a look. Here's my ID. Let me see that. Clearance level 2A. You work for Carpathia himself. Yes, I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will... What's your job? That's classified. Sorry. Is he around here? You expect me to tell you if he was. All right, you're good. Just watch yourself. There's bodies all over the place. These two are critical. We need some blankets. Don't worry about those. There's nothing to do. Excuse, excuse me, where would patients who were in ICU be? Uh, 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 try the north side, kind of in front of those uh, fire trucks over there. Oh, Do you got see it? it? Thank you. Yeah, a blood supply. Uh, does anybody know if we have access to plasma yet? Here, take him with this. Have you found any ICU survivors? Uh, three so far. Oh, God, I'm looking for a man. Uh, all three were women. Two nurses and a doctor. They were outside for a smoke. No, no one inside? 
We've heard voices, but we haven't got to anyone in time. Alfred, get out of the way. I'm looking for a Bruce Barnes. Look, every second counts here. If we find him, we'll uh, let you know. Please, it's very important. Stay out for a patient. Patient? He was in a coma last week. I'll check over there, but... Hey, wait a minute. Barnes. I see you. Yep, that's where he was. <sighs> There's still more inside, but I see you is just about vaporized. So he might be out here, or he might still be inside? If he's out here, he's confirmed dead. If he's still inside, they may never find him. No chance for anybody in there? Not so far. He a relative? <sighs> Closer than a brother. I'll let you look at the bodies if you think... <sighs> Unless you want, I should check for you. I'd, I'd be so grateful. Sir? Yes? Clergy, right? Yes. Bruce Barnes? Yes. Over here. Confirmed. <sighs> Your friend is presentable. Some of these I wouldn't dare show you. But you could see him if you want. I, I need you. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't let you do that. Those eyes. I'll close them. Could you check for a pulse? Sir, they don't bring them out here unless they've been pronounced. Almost half an hour. Ray said I should come for him if he's up. Daddy! Oh, it doesn't look good. Ray, did you find him? I'm sorry. So sorry. Oh. He didn't make it. Oh, no! God help us. Come on, let's see if we can make it to the church before dark. came racing to me, a pastor, someone who should have known the answers, but well, I was i was just as stunned, I, I guess. My wife and children vanished, and then I remembered the videotape that our pastor made. Hmm. I didn't want to make this tape when Bruce first suggested it, but now I'm glad we did, just to be able to see him again. He was such a dear man. I can't believe he's gone. God brought Bruce into our lives. He can raise up someone else to teach us. What do we do? Hide out in the shelter and wait for the world to explode? Rayford, Carpathia will want you back as soon as you can get there. Mm. And he'll want you at the magazine. I hate him! I hate that murderer! Oh, Chloe, honey, come here. <laughs> for whatever reason, God put us in the middle of this. And I think that's where he wants us to stay until he's finished. As you can see, what used to be London is now a nuclear wasteland. What was a glorious symbol of freedom, the White House, is a pile of rubble. In one afternoon, the world has changed before our very eyes. In one afternoon, we have gone from peace this is exactly what Bruce told us would happen. One man on the red Earth horse of the apocalypse. But God still has his witnesses. God will still be victorious. I must confess, though, at this moment, I have no idea how. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is based in part on the book Tribulation Force by Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins and has been adapted for radio by Chris Fabry with music by Steve Wick, directed and produced by Todd Bustee. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening. <laughs>